Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do some slight modifications to the control system of the helicopter. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make the helicopter automatically turn towards the direction I'm looking at through the helicopter uh, through the mouse or through the camera. Uh, the reason is it will allow me to easily navigate, easily control the helicopter to go to wherever I want. So earlier I had to use Q and E to manually turn the helicopter and I could use only the mouse to look around so it didn't affect the direction it was going but now it can go I can control the direction along with the mouse so right let's see how to implement these changes today Let me land this first. Right, so at the moment, uh, when I take off the helicopter and if I press W, it only goes forward like this. So it doesn't uh, consider what is the direction I am looking at through the camera. So what I want to do is, when I press W, the helicopter should try to align itself towards the direction that I'm looking at so it would make it easier for me to maneuver the helicopter all right so first let me open the helicopter blueprint and here it is then how do I make it align with the camera do direction looking at the camera um, let's go to the place where we control move forward which is here and here we have a function this input accent axis turn helicopter which I have used Q and E to uh, rotate the helicopter to the right or left so we already have this function to align the helicopter to the direction we need and if we don't get a value here we can automatically use some value if we are moving forward so how can we do that mm, right we can have selection here select and we should only select a if this axis value let's get the uh, if the axis value is absolute value is larger than let's say 0.1 this is only this would only matter in controllers if this is the case we should consider the input from the input axis turn helicopter otherwise we can get the value from we can get the get control rotation and uh, and we can access uh, get after rotation and from this two we can uh, use delta rotator to calculate the difference then if I split and I, I can access only the your component because that is the only thing I needed uh, to align the helicopter towards the direction I'm looking at so this can give me a large value like something more than one so therefore Actually, this could be like uh, 
I don't know, 180 degrees maximum. So let me divide this by 90 and plan in between minus 1 and 1. <clears throat> right now, let's see what happens. So actually I didn't consider here regardless of my chopper is moving or not it will always try to align with the direction I'm looking at through the camera so let's look at this direction and you can see as I lift helicopter turns towards that uh, direction if I look at this way you can see it still try to align to that direction so if I press move if I keep W pressed when I go there you can see it is turning yeah now this is quite easy for me to handle if I press Q you can see helicopter is turning uh, but if I release it you can see again it aligns to that direction uh, well actually now that I have a way to turn the helicopter I don't think I would need Q and E maybe we can use Q and E to do something like to do a barrel roll or something in future but for now I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna make the alignment happen only if uh, no, I don't think we I think actually we should keep this uh, Initially, I thought of uh, implementing the Aligning only when only when the helicopter is moving, but uh, Sometimes we have to Aim and shoot while we stay stationary in the air. So therefore I'm gonna keep it and Yeah, as always project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye